All right, I am back here with another video, and it's gonna be an unboxing of Infinite Dragon from the new Random Booster 28. Well, is it still new? Yeah, it's still new. I'm counting it as new. It's the newest Random Booster. Um, I believe it's the last Random Booster is supposed to be uh, for BU. I'm not sure what Random Booster it is. I think it was have like the Kirby or something. But yeah, this is like second to last Random Booster ever, I believe. Of course, we don't have the whole random booster. Just one day, Infinite Dragon. I will probably be getting Tempest Achilles later on. And I can just combine the two. But if you really want to make the full combo, you have to buy a whole random booster. Well, not really alternate, but basically the whole random booster. So yeah, I'm gonna be unboxing this thing. You're probably wondering like why this stuff is ripped up because I have my address on it. So yeah, so I'm gonna open it up. And I never thought I'd be having Infinite in my hands because it's like two hundred dollars, but. This is not Infinite Achilles, it's Infinite Dragon, and hey, it's like, it's packaged really well, in a tiny little box. Okay. Okay, driver, I believe this is like a Zone Dash, or Exceed like Dash. No, I think Exceed Dash is on Tempest Achilles. So, come on, there you go. Okay. Now this... Okay, it has 1B, no, it has 1A. Yeah, 1A. 1B is on Tempest Achilles, so... Ooh. Okay, come on. Ooh, that looks so cool. Dude, it's, it's got the golden chassis. Bro, the chassis is amazing. It's like my one from Super Hyperion. <laughs> Dude, this thing looks amazing. And it does not come with a shield attachment. Although Tempest Achilles does come with it. So yeah, that's the layer slash chassis. And I'm gonna open up the driver, which usually... I mean, like, they have a driver covered in tape, so it's kind of hard to get out, but, yeah, I'm pretty sure it says exceed dash plus Z. It's, like, either exceed dash plus Z or zone dash plus X. Pretty sure it's exceed dash plus Z. It's so weird saying that, like, I like how they kind of randomize stuff instead of just doing stock, but I honestly wish they did stock, but I don't think anyone would really buy it, because, well, it's just a stock combo of the version they probably already have, except for maybe Infinite or Tempest. They should have done Hyperion Burn and Helios Volcano, but it makes sense that they didn't because they're kind of like exclusive to this one little set. So yeah, I honestly think there should have been a belly roll in that set, like maybe Dangerous or Dynamite. Okay, I'm starting to get the driver out. Alright. <sighs> Dude, I hate how it's covered in tape, but I mean, that just makes it well packaged. Alright. And let's see. Okay, so it's Zone Dash plus X, and as you can see, it is not free spin because it has the X attachment. So basically, um, zone dash and the Z uh, makes it better. It's still free spin. X gives it more attack, so it's not free spin anymore. So if I take it out, it's free spin. Which I honestly wish it came with Z dash. And I'm pretty sure is this made of metal? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's made of metal. So that's pretty cool. I mean, yeah, it's got some high attack power and whatever. I'm putting it on the right way. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm putting it. The, okay. There we go. Look at that. No longer free spin. So I'm gonna put the bait together and see how good the clicks are. And yeah, the clicks are fine. They're just normal. I'm gonna put the stickers on them. Then I'll weigh the bay. So yeah. All right. I'm gonna be doing a part by part now. Then I'll be weighing them. Then I'll show these combos. Cause why not? I guess. So I'll start off with the driver, zone dash plus X. If you didn't know, it originally came with Z, but since Cartomi decided to mix it up for this random booster, they gave it X, and they gave exceed dash um, Z. Yeah, and this thing's actually made of metal, so it helps with some weight. And you know what? I'll, okay, I'll weigh it later, but I'll just put that there. Then we have dragon. Yeah, just it's not good at all, so don't use it. The only sparking chips for right spin are really good are Hyperion, Solomon, and Lucifer 2. I mean, you can count Spriggan and Lucifer 1, but whatever. Then we have this amazing looking 1A, which actually... There's a 1A just like that, but it's a black version. If I can get it. Okay, here it is. Yeah, it's like... Yeah, they both have the black on the um, outside. They just put gold. So yeah... I don't even could be better. I mean, like, this is like, it's kind of more, I don't know what to call it, what to say, but whatever. That's pretty cool. Then, Infinite. Uh, it wasn't really good competitive, but 
the gimmick is that it has different modes. It has speed mode, sword mode, and shield mode, which this one did not come with the shield. So now I'm just gonna weigh this stuff. And I have no idea what it says. Okay. So did it die? Okay, I'll start off with the sword attachment. Six grams, then we have infinite. Five. So the sword attachment is heavier than infinite, so it should be eleven. I don't know, the scale is sometimes bugging. Yeah, eleven and dragon is not gonna register, so I have to do infinite with the dragon trip just to see. Okay, so it's 14, so dragon's three grams. 1A. 46. Alright, let's compare that to the other 1A that I have. Okay, yeah, same weight, of course. So now, um, zone dash, um, X. Okay, it doesn't register, but, um, what I'll do is I'll just put them both together, then see if it'll register. Okay. This X attachment is like really hard to put on zone dash. So, okay, so it's four grams. All right, so now I have the stickers on it and we're gonna do some test battles now. All right, I'm going to do a test launch. Now I'll do some test battles, so let's see. It's probably gonna be like not, I think it'll be pretty aggressive. Not insanely aggressive. Okay, it's actually very aggressive. Only because of the X attachment, that's all. Okay, and actually, infinite, like, it has a dent already, even though I haven't done a battle with it. So, first battle will be against Super Hyperion. Okay, it seems like the X attachment is really bad. Okay, yeah, X attachment sucks, but... Okay, dude, it's like the battle of who is so fail first. Go shoot. Okay, you know what? This is really not working, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the X attachment, and in same spin, it'll just be regular zone dash. In opposite spin, it'll be zone dash plus X, and I will not be removing the infinite sword, because it's garbage from the infinite sword, let's be honest. Dude, the stuff KOs. I'm trying to get a good battle with Super, but come on. Shoot. Let's shoot. We've got every protagonist, except for Vault, combined into one bay. Well, that's when you give it the X attachment, or whatever. Okay, should be infinite, hopefully. Please, infinite win. Please don't lose a super. Like, super's not even bad, but I just don't want to lose. A draw, I'll do one more, then we'll end it off there, and do great. Okay, infinite with the win, All right? Infinite versus brave. Okay, it's already got a dent in it. Okay, so the sword attachment dents very easily. This is like a Hasbro base. This is like a speedstorm thing. How easily it like gets dents in it. It looks so cool. So Okay, and Brave Valkyrie gets to win, and it kind of looked like Brave was about to burst, but I'll do one more, just to see, and some of Brave's plastic got an infinite. So Brave just don't do that bad over it. Let's just see. Okay, I'm done. Brave got the win. Next up, we have Mirage, so now, actually no, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do all the right spins first, then all the left, so I'm gonna go to DB now. Um, I'll start things off with, I'll, I'll start with Greatest, oh, no. a fully awakened Greatest, if you don't know what that is, just no Halo at all, Halo go go. And there you go, easy to bring out, well, I'll do one more of these Greatest, 
greatest deserves no chance. Okay, and there goes greatest. Yeah, it's not the greatest Beyblade. Okay, um, save your Perseus. This is a bay that is gonna get burst, and it's on the way here. I'm pretty sure that was a snipe, so I'll do it again. I'm not sure. Uh, I might have it in slow mo just to see if it's a snipe, but I'm convinced that was a snipe. But okay, dragon clicked twice, so yeah. Okay, there we go. Yeah, Perseus does that a lot. Like, you know, it will be just about to win. It's just about to get the spin finished, and boom, just burst. Okay, it tries to stay together, but just cannot. Okay, um, next up, I'll try Ultimate Valkyrie since the rest of the bays are left spins. Actually, no, there's Prominence Phoenix. I'll do Prominence. High mode Prominence. Okay, so it's like. Iga and Drum versus Pain. It's, it's really Drum versus Pain. It's like back in, um, what was it, GT, when Iga, not Iga, um, Drum combined his bay with, um, Master. Okay, and should I try the X attachment? You know what? I want to see if Prominence can survive. Or if really Dragon can survive. But. I just want to see how bad or good Dragon will do with the X attachment. Come on. Three, two, one. Okay. I feel like he could have got that win. I really want to see Palmer's burst. Like, I've never seen high mode burst, only low mode. Three, two, one. Two. Okay. Okay, yeah, Prominence gets the win, so no more X attachment, and I threw it. Almost lost my X attachment. I would have been sad if I lost the X attachment, because even though it sucks, like, I don't want to lose it. Because I could use it on some Hasbro stuff and do a video on that. And I actually never knew that the, um, the X and Z attachments had metal until I got them um, this space. So, yeah. Ultimate, uh, no attachment. Sorry about the camera. Okay, Ultimate got a really good hit, but it just got knocked out by Achilles. Despite being in sword mode, it has really good defense. Okay, yeah, that's Awakened Variable for you. Awakened Evolution does not do that. Evolution's just a lot better, but Variable has... Okay, now, well, actually, wait, I was gonna say the rest of the battle are left, but I have Ashtol. So, Ashtol, then just the left. Ashtol attack mode. Okay, Ashtol with the ring out. Okay, um, Ashtol kind of murdered Infinite there, like. Infinite did not stand a chance. Attack mode self KOs a lot, like, more than like extreme dash and quick dash. Okay. Nice dash hole. Bro, I hate the self KOs. This is why I want to get the ZB Stadium, because there's not going to be a lot of self KOs. The stadium, I'll probably never get it. I'm so done with this bay. This is why I hate attack mode so much. 3, 2, 1, shoot. Infinite on its last click, even though it was probably from the pocket. Okay, um, Savior, and I'll do all the lefts. Yes. I should be on the lefts by now, but they're just base. Uh, this is a Rebellion, because Valky Chip broke. The chip didn't, like, snap in half or anything, but the teeth, like, all the teeth just broke, so it wouldn't be fair. It died after, like, the first two hits, which it did die in the first two hits, even with the Belial Core. But whatever, okay. 
the rest of the battles are going to be with the X attachment. So, Mirage Fresh. Oh, wait. <laughs> I'm sorry, I forgot about Belial. There's so many base I'm forgetting. Shoot up, perfect dangerous. E burst dangerous. One hit. And no clicks as well. I gotta get S here. <laughs> this bay is strong. He just murdered dangerous. And the burst stopper came out. I watched it hard enough for the burst stopper. Dangerous just flat out got murdered. Dangerous is not recovering from that. Okay, Infinite has proved that it's a very strong bay. Like, Dangerous is actually pretty hard to burst because the burst stopper. Alright, X attachment. Now I'm going to put it up against all the lefts. Starting with Mirage. Actually, you know what? No, I forgot. I still have Command Dragon. Okay, April Fools. That was the worst April Fools joke ever. But who cares? It's my channel. My channel sucks anyway. <laughs> Okay, Mirage is in counter mode. This is such a much more calm battle than like with Dangerous and Savior. It just murdered those two. Like, it's just murdering the attack types. Like, Ultimate, Brave. Okay, Mirage goes down. No more Mirage. I don't want to be Vanished because I still want to be Vanished. Uh, World, I might do right spin, but for now I'm just using it in the left. Go shoot. Infinite get the spin finish. Maybe, maybe not. Come on, let's go infinite. Infinite. Let's go beat world. So now what we're gonna do is ooh, two beats with a beating. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put world in right spin. Then see if infinite can still beat it. I think infinite still can. As long as I just remove the attachment. I mean maybe. Maybe he can get a KO without the attachment, or with the attachment, I meant. But, like, that's really all I could ever do. <laughs> it's not gonna get a spin finish. Okay, it still has the attachment. A uh, world's in fix. Go shoot. Okay, it hit pretty hard. Okay, no more attachment. So one more battle of world. Just to see can infinite get the win. At its strongest. This is peak performance. And it's still Okay, kinda murdered world there. I mean damn burst it, but still kinda beat up world there. <laughs> Okay. Okay, I do not like the noises coming from the thing. <laughs> Please stop. Please make the suffering stop. Okay, world one. And even though Infinite did get that nice ring out, world still got the win in general. And dude, it's so much harder putting this attachment on than on Z. Like, Cause it makes it not free spin anymore. <laughs> There's something wrong, okay. Bro, just there, it works. I do not like how it's no longer free spinning anymore. I should have just kept it free spin. Whatever. Alright, Rage. It's probably gonna get beat by Rage. Shoot. Shoot. Oh, it's so in. Okay, it might be able to win. It can get a spin finish. Yeah, it's gonna be infinite. Maybe not. Maybe. And it beat Rage. Alright. Uh, I'll do one more battle against Rage, because that was a pretty close one. Dude, if that was high extent plus dash, it would have been knocked out. It was right on the edge, then the X attachment saved it. Or driver saved it, not really the attachment, but... Whatever. Okay. Okay, this thing is beating up Rage. He goes crazy with that attachment. And again, another win. 
this pay is strong. So it's beaten basically everything. It's beaten everything except for um, Prominence and Astral. So that's pretty good. All right, War Bahamut. Can it beat Roar? Probably not. Okay, you think Roar would get knocked out because we cool. Okay, two times in a row. It lost two times in a row, okay. I mean, I mean it hit pretty hard. Oh, yeah, whatever. Okay, Guilty, the last battle. Can it beat Guilty? Probably not. I mean, maybe it can get spin finish, but no. I was gonna say spin finish or ring out. And yeah. They really just beat up Guilty. Like, with the attachment, it's like dangerous with All Might plus V. It just hits the walls and all that. It beat Guilty Long Limits. This thing is very, very strong. And it exceeded my expectations. I honestly did not think it would be absolutely insanely strong. I didn't think it'd be as strong as it actually is, but jeez, this thing is crazy, man. Anyways, the ratings of this day, I'd say a nine, uh, uh, yeah, nine. Just like for stock combos and for DB meta, maybe be like an eight or something, but from what I've seen of it right now, a <laughs> nine. Cause I mean, it burst dangerous with ease. It got the spin finish on rage. Knocked out Guilty twice. Burst Savior pretty easily. Got a crazy ring out on the world. It, it did very, very good. I highly recommend getting this if you're gonna get the random booster. And yeah, if you get Tempest Achilles, you can of course make Infinite Achilles as well. But yeah, that's it for the video and uh, goodbye.